Hi there, it's Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and Darren O'Neill.eu. In this short video, I want to show you how to add an additional user to uh, Windows Server, and in this case, Windows Server 2019. Okay, so I have my server here, it's in AWS, and I've already logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Start menu, and I'm going to search for Users. And I'm going to see this Add, Edit, or Remove Other Users. So let me click here. Okay. So I want to click add someone else to this PC. And we see we get this user and groups prompt. So let me double click on users and we can see we have our administrator. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to say new user and I'm going to say Darren. That's the username and I'll just say Darren is my full name. And I'll say um, password. Let me put in the password here. I'll just confirm it. And I don't want, I'm just going to say, I don't want to, uh, I don't change my password the next logon. I'm just going to say password never expires for me just for the purpose of this. I want to click create. Okay, so Darren is added. I'm actually going to, I want to add myself to the admin. So I clicked on groups, I clicked on administrators, and I'm going to click add. And I'm just going to type in Darren, and I'll click check names. Cool, and we can see Darren is now in here. So let me click apply, and let me click OK. So what we'll do now is we'll open a separate RDP window and see if we can log in. Okay, so I'm going to click connections and I'm going to click new connection and we're going to say Darren at Darren's test server. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my test one here. I'm going to copy, I'm going to copy my URL or my host name. I'll put in Darren, because that's my username. I'm going to put in my password, which I set. And my domain is just localhost. OK, and let me uh, right click here and click Connect. And there we are. We're being brought in as um, Darren onto my, my server. So this is a great way if you have one or two other admins and you need to give them their, their own account on Windows Server. I do hope that was helpful. And please do like and subscribe. And any issues, please do come below. And if I can help, I certainly will. Thank you for watching.